In this next story, we're going to show you a sign placed in the windows of some local coffee shops. The goal here is to make everyone feel welcome, regardless of factors like race, religion, or sexual orientation. But sometimes the sign can have the opposite effect. Paula Tutman digs into the different reactions and what they say about the times we're living in. So this is the sign that greets you before you go into and inside all of the dessert oasis coffee roasters in Detroit, Royal Oak and downtown Rochester. For Rabia, it's a sign of the times. When she entered dessert oasis coffee roasters in Detroit, she felt safe, something she doesn't always feel when she leaves the city. My friends and I walked into Taco Bell <laughs> in Gaylord, and it was interesting that we were sitting in that Taco Bell, and I thought, okay, well, maybe we shouldn't stay here too long because, I mean, I, I don't know if, if somebody might come up to us. I don't know. So that's always a concern. But the sign at the front and posted throughout the shop says the coffee shop welcomes all races and ethnicities, religions, countries of origin, gender identities, sexual orientations, abilities and disabilities, spoken languages and ages. Everybody. I mean, I love it. I think it's great. I think it should be posted everywhere. But that sign does not make Laura feel comfortable or safe. I kind of feel like that. Why does it need to even say that? Why does if, if it welcomes everybody, why would you have to specify that? So would that know? sign make you feel welcome walking in, or would it keep you from walking in? Now that I read that sign, I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I would, I don't think. To me, that's really unfortunate. It, it seems uh, ironic, to say the least, that um, something that should be a beautiful sentiment, that should be all-inclusive, is actually something that would scare people. I, I, I don't get it. Nate largely runs the family operations these days and did not check with the older generation about posting the signs. I was concerned about how people would perceive it, business concerns. I think it's really important that we maintain that inclusiveness uh, is not something that should be divisive. I think we should loudly say that, you know, everyone is welcome, everyone is safe here. Father and son talk about a time not so long ago when signs kept people out and kept people apart. They say they want their signs to bring people in and bring people together. Obviously, we want to put Jim Crow behind us and we want to grow it beyond that as a country. If the opposite was said so loudly at one point in history, I think we should be saying today very loudly that all are welcome. And for the people who do not tolerate or accept people who look different, speak different, pray different, love different, or live different, father and son agree those people are welcome too. So the family stresses this is not supposed to be a political statement. They believe that this is just a statement about how they feel about everyone. Paula Tutman, Local 4.